When it comes to unimaginable luxuries, no car on earth can surpass those offered by the American president's official car, nicknamed the Beast. Transporting one of the world's most influential men calls for much more than the functional features we ooh and ah over high-end consumer car models. The Beast has features that we did not dare imagine existed outside the fictional world of high-budget thriller films like James Bond. This is only fitting for a car that transports and protects the president and serves as a mobile command center and office. Yes, with power comes fine living. The current beast used by President Joe Biden was initially commissioned by the Obama administration in 2014 and made its debut on September the 24th, 2018, when former President Donald Trump took it for a ride to the United Nations headquarters in New York. The magnificent vehicle took over four years in the production line because the specifications of the commission were previously unheard of and called for collaboration between several players in the automobile industry, military hardware, and software players. The eye-catching new design, its price tag, and rumors about the car's sci-fi-like capabilities immediately became an unceasing topic of a global conversation. The flames of curiosity were increased because the Secret Service was unwilling to dish out the sensitive details on the new beast's specifications and capabilities. Fortunately, over time, official and non-official reports have supplied us with all the luxurious details about how one of the most influential men in the world travels in the lap of hereto unimaginable luxury. This article will cover the various factors that make the beast one of a kind. General Motors filed out the commission for the new presidential mobile fortress. The beast was built by a specialized research and development arm of their branch in Detroit. Even though the beast is designed to look like a Cadillac, keeping in tradition with the majority of the previous beasts, it has next to nothing in common with the mass-produced sedan. This beast is essentially a heavy-duty General Motors truck, the Chevrolet Kodiak, designed to look like a stretch limousine version of the Cadillac XT6 sedan. No one knows the exact price tag of the beast, but it is rumored to be in the ballpark figure of $1 million to $1.5 million per vehicle. Even though it's speculated that the Beast is one of a dozen that comprised a contract initially estimated at $16 million, only the Secret Service can confirm how many of this formidable species were manufactured for the United States government by General Motors. The Beast was designed to withstand all fathomable forms of attack and defend itself with some surprising evasive and offensive measures. While the Beast may nod to various standard production cars, it shares little in common with them except for the classic Cadillac insignia and standard trim pieces like taillights, headlamps, and the overall grid design that makes it look like a Cadillac. The Beast is a cosmetic Cadillac, a functional heavy-duty General Motors truck, and a military-grade tank. It is 18 feet long, and it's approximated to weigh an insane 8 tons. Its diesel engine, chassis, and transmission are based on those General Motors uses on its rugged, heavy-duty trucks, but the chassis and exterior are upgraded with military-grade hardware. The blast-proof chassis is thought to combine a mixture of ceramic armors, steel, and aluminium, each modified to neutralize different types of threats, ranging from explosives planted on the road to rocket-propelled grenades. No matter your bank account balance, no car manufacturer, even General Motors, can supply you with any automobile in the same league as the Beast. Unparalleled luxury ensures that the recipient is accorded to an incredibly unique product. Its accurate model is unnamed and cannot be replicated. Exclusivity is not only a critical security measure, but also an indispensable partner to absolute luxury. As a unique project custom-ordered and designed for the president, the Beast cannot be based on any standard road-going model. This is why the Beast is unlike any of the preceding presidential cars. Older presidential cars shared much in common with classic production cars and were modified to accommodate the extended functionality, security, and luxury befitting the nation's leader. Simply put, the Beast model will never be fully revealed, so we shall have to content ourselves with this enigmatic characteristic. Luckily, except for cutting-edge technology, the aesthetics of the Beast's interior are pretty easy to replicate. Like any high-end luxury car, it is fitted with the finest leather, luxurious cloth, and wood finishings. It is designed to have lots of legroom for its executive passenger and any other accompanying ones. Weirdly, even though there is plenty of leather on board, the president's seat is covered with a simple yet fine dark blue cloth. 
The included shoulder seat belts are the reverse of what is typically found in a regular rear seat. They retract towards the center of the bench and buckle into the outboard corners. When you see the beast on the road, it must have a minimum of three passengers on board. The president, the driver, and the lead Secret Service protective agent who sits in the front passenger seat. In addition to these three practical spots, there are four other seats in the back passenger cabin. One seat is next to the president and is usually reserved for a high-ranking guest, for example, the first lady. The president's chair is separated from the guest's seat by a folding desk. There are three additional rearward-facing seats on a bench. There is a glass partition that only the president can open. It separates the passenger cabin from the driver's cabin. This luxury interior also doubles as a panic room because the passenger cabin can be hermetically sealed from the outside in case of a chemical attack. The beast travels with an adequate supply of oxygen, so should there be a biological weapon attack, the passengers will have the luxury of opting out of our toxic environment. There is also a panic button that the president can activate to summon help from the highest echelons of law enforcement. The beast is manufactured to keep the president safe and allow for sensitive state matters to be carried out on the go. In line with Air Force One, the beast is equipped with all the communication hardware and software maintained by the White House Communications Agency. The beast has much more than secure Wi-Fi. It has an encrypted satellite phone and secured video conferencing system with a direct line to the Pentagon and the White House. Secure communication facilities are essential to guarantee that the president can work while in transit, even in a foreign country. In the unthinkable event that the president sustains a life-threatening injury, you'll find all the medical equipment and materials necessary to give first aid. There is even a temperature-controlled compartment with units of the president's blood type ready for a transfusion. The Beast is not your typical bulletproof armored car that cannot withstand high-velocity rounds. It features 5 to 8 inch thick military-grade armor plating, 5 inch thick bulletproof glass, and fiberglass fenders. Even with the insane protection, the only window in the Beast that opens is the driver's window and only for the 3 inches necessary to allow communication with agents outside the car. The chassis is built using reinforced steel plates that insulate the car from any blast or impact like bombs or mines. The doors on the Beast are 8 inches thick, armor-plated, and filled with a special explosion prevention foam to ensure the doors can withstand a direct assault. The fuel tank is also armor-plated and surrounded by this foam which insulates the tank from any impact and prevents it from exploding. An onboard fire suppression system further secures the tank if a fire ever starts on board. Even the door handles on the Beast are incomparable. They have a unique loop shape to allow Secret Service agents to grab the door open in an emergency hurriedly. Even more remarkable, at the press of a button, the door handle can deliver over 100 volts worth of electric shock to an enemy that ever gets that close. The Beast's bus size wheels are also out of this world. They have steel rims and the tires are Kevlar reinforced, shred, and puncture resistant. The Beast will still roll on for miles at top performance in the unlikely event of a puncture or burst tire. The Beast's protective measures do not stop at being bulletproof, blastproof, and chemical attack resistant. This car has the luxury of going further than any modifications that even the obscenely wealthy can only dream of. The Beast's bonnet has night vision cameras for navigation in total darkness and tear gas grenade launchers to disperse threatening crowds. It can also put up a smokescreen and lay down an oil slick to evade any cars that may attempt to chase it. Do not forget about the door handles, which are capable of electrocuting an assailant on the spot. How much more protection could anyone have or need? All the overkill on the beast would be useless if not for the most incredible luxury of all. Secret Service agents that are grudgingly trained to drive the Bahamut, repair it, and keep the president safe at all costs. Talk about privileges that money can't buy. And so, with that being said, we've come to the end of this video. Let us know in the comments section what you think of the Beast, and we'll see you guys next time.